Welcome to the VITS First Year Chemistry Laboratory. Here you will learn all the basic techniques that you need to become a successful experimental scientist. Today we will look at the glassware and apparatus that you will find in your locker and will use throughout your first year of scientific experiments. Glassware is generally separated into two types, to contain and to deliver. To contain glassware refers to glassware that is used to contain a certain amount of volume. It is designed to contain liquids, but when transferring liquids, it delivers less than the indicated volume due to the liquids clinging to the sides. Volumetric flasks contain a precise volume at a particular temperature and can be found in different volumes and sizes. Solutions are made up until the graduation line, which indicates the desired volume. The volumetric flask is used to dilute samples precisely and for the preparation of standard solutions. A beaker has a cylindrical shape with a flat bottom and is available in a wide range of sizes. A beaker is used for stirring, mixing or heating liquids and is not used for precise measurements. It possesses a flat base, conical body and a cylindrical neck. A conical flask is found in different volumes. This glassware is also not for accurate volumetric measurements, but is used to mix contents by swirling without the risk of spillage. One example of its use is during a titration. A measuring cylinder is used to measure a certain volume of liquid, but is not as precise as a pipette or burette. It is found in different volumes. The volume of the measuring cylinder is found here. A weighing bottle is used for the precise weighing of solids. Long U-shaped glassware that is open at the top and closed at the bottom. Test tubes are used for qualitative experiments. They are used to mix, hold and heat solutions and then observe the changes. The second type of glassware is classified as to deliver. To deliver glassware refers to the glassware that is designed to deliver a precise volume. They are designed to contain a little more solution than the indicated volume, so as to deliver the precise volume stated on the glassware. This is due to some of the liquids sticking to the sides of the glassware. A pipette is used to measure a volume of solution with extreme precision. This is done by using a probe pipette to suck up the solution. Pipettes are found in different sizes. This is the volume of the solution to be delivered, which should be recorded as 20.00 milliliters. This value indicates the expel time. Once all the solution has been expelled, you will need to continue to expel for approximately this period of time to ensure that you have delivered all of the liquid. A single graduated ring indicates the calibrated volume for example, 20.00 milliliters. A volumetric burette delivers a measured volume of solution. The flow of the liquid is controlled by the stopcock valve. Burettes are available in different sizes. A burette is usually used during a titration. The volume is recorded to two decimal places. For example, 25.56 milliliters. These are other pieces of apparatus which you will use in your experimental practicals. A glass rod is used to mix chemicals and liquids and to dab litmus paper with solution to determine pH. A pestle and mortar is used for grinding and crushing samples into a powder. The mortar is the bowl. The pestle is the object that is used for grinding and crushing samples. The evaporation dish is used for the evaporation of a solution. Wire gauze is placed between the beaker and the tripod to support the beaker while heating the solution with a Bunsen burn. A thermometer measures the temperature of a solution. The bulb of the thermometer should be immersed in the solution and the bulb should not touch the bottom of the glassware. If needed, the thermometer can be secured with a clamp. A glass funnel has a wide mouth and narrow stem. 
A glass funnel is used when a solution or a solid needs to be added to a flask or a burette without spilling. A watch glass is a circular concave piece of glass. It can be used to cover the mouth of the beaker or to weigh out a solid in the absence of a weighing bottle. A test tube peg is a peg that has an extended handle. It is used while heating the test tube to prevent burning oneself. That is all for our video on glassware and the general apparatus that can be found in your locker. We hope that you know the difference between the two contain and the two deliver glassware types and which pieces of glassware fall into those two categories. We also hope that you know the general apparatus and when to use them during your experimental practicals.